guys, welcome Hi. to our channel. Do not tell the ladies. I'm Jeanette. And I'm Brenda. And today we decided to do something different. It sounded like a lot of fun. It does. It does. Um, we have a we have a soda bottle. It's not any brand. You can do whatever brand you want. Uh, we happen to have a certain brand that I like to drink. <laughs> and we have two empty ones that I washed. I don't like that brand, by the way. But the bottles are pretty. They got little bubbles on. I don't know if that'll show up or not. But anyway, on Pinterest, I saw where they took out an empty bottle after they washed it and they layered it with chocolate and they made it into a. Um, well, we're going to make it into an Easter present for Liam and Jennifer. Yep. Liam's my nephew, Jennifer's your daughter, and it's going to look like a Coca Cola bottle. And it's going to have some. Oh my gosh! It's going to have some candy inside it. And we'll show you as we do it. So, um, in the meantime, we're tempering some chocolate. We'll be right back. While we're doing that, why don't you go below? And there's a subscribe button. See it? See that subscribe button? Did you press it? There's a little bell next to it. If you press it, it'll even notify you every time we put a new video up. Press That's like. pretty handy. I know. And if you press like, you know you were there anyway. And by the way, if you have any comments, put them down below. We'd love to hear your comments. You make a comment, and we're going to reply. That's the way it goes. So we'll be right back. We're going to dip some chocolate. And what's tempering chocolate in it? Let's see if it melts. Hey guys, so this is what I did. I tempered the chocolate, which means I melted it. And now, tempering it, I'm trying to cool it off. So what I'm doing is, I'm adding a little air to it. And the only reason I know this is there's a YouTube channel that I watch that it's a, they make candy, they're out of Canada. But anyway, they use their hands, they have a glove, and, and they pour it onto a, a table, and they use their hands and keep pouring it up and down to cool it off. I'm not gonna do that, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna keep doing this until it's cool enough to handle, because when we pour it into the bottle right now, it will melt this bottle. And what we're gonna do is, once we temper it, we'll, we'll show you, we're, and hopefully it doesn't look like most Pinterest outcomes that people try. Hopefully it looks just like the picture on Pinterest when I saw it. But we're gonna pour the chocolate in here. We're gonna swirl it around, make sure it's really good and coated, nice and, and good, a good layer. Not super thick, but a good layer. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge, let it harden, and then we're gonna do another layer. So in the meantime, I'm just trying to get the chocolate cool enough that we can pour it into the bottles without melting the plastic. And right now, I can't even touch the metal, the metal bowl, it's, it's, it's hot. So we're just going to keep cooling it up. And it, it'll thicken up a little bit, so you'll realize that right now, it's, if you look, it's real paper thin, so it's really hot. Now, I don't know much about chocolate, but I do watch a lot of YouTube channels, and I do like the, watching the other cooking shows, and I do love watching them make candy, because, well, uh, at least if I watch it, then I'll, maybe I won't eat it. But just, I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> that would be a lie to say, maybe if I watch it, I don't eat it. Actually, I watch it, and I have a, guys, I bought a candle, and it's chocolate s'mores. I watch the candy show, and I like the candle, and I feel like I'm there. So, but anyway, so it's going to take a few minutes to temper this because I still can't touch the bottom of the barrel bowl. So if you give me a few minutes to let it cool down a little bit, and then we'll be back right back. Hey guys, we're back now. To let you know, what I did was, I don't have a double boiler. I never have had a double boiler. So what I do is I put a pot of hot water and I put my metal bowl on top of it and just melt it. To me, that's just easier. You don't have to buy a double boiler. Make sure that the whole time you're heating it, you make sure you're stirring it. When it starts to melt about half, I'd say about a fourth of the way through it starts melting, you really got to make sure you stir it because if you don't, you may burn the bottom of it. You want because it's a metal pan, it still gets really hot because it's sitting in boiling water. You can still scorch the bottom of your pan. So just make sure you continue to stir it. 
Now we're at a point where I'm just a mess. And so is Brenda. So Brenda, keep her from behind the camera. Come over here. And I can't help but put it's all my fingers. Oh, all right. So, so we're going to take turns? I guess so. Or do you want to do your bottle first and I'll do mine? Yeah, we're going to do our own. I'm going to do one, you're going to do one. So we're just going to do it and see what happens. So I don't know if the. Oh, uh, this is going to be messy. Uh, mine's stuck. Do we need the, the bigger column? No, we don't. Because the problem is that um, they clogged, but well, it doesn't yours, it just doesn't mind. Mine's bigger. I mean, mine's smaller. Yeah, I think you need the bigger column. It's fine. So how much, how much chocolate? A little bit more than that. I'd say a couple more scoops of your ladle, and you should be, and then start because you can add more chocolate. They said, and then after you got get it in, you're supposed to swirl it around. So that's what we're gonna do. You, I this. Oh. All right. I mean, I'm already got a mess going. So. Well, but this one's working better, so. I was going to wear an apron today, too. <laughs> Might have been a good idea. <laughs> I was. It was all my intention to have an apron. Okay, so you just do this. Yeah, all she, the way around. She watched the video. I didn't watch the video, so. This is kind of cool, actually. Wow. And then you can add more chocolate. Oh, yeah. yeah, the chocolate's still warm, but it's not hot. Yeah. And then you're just supposed to swirl it around to where it's totally coated, Very but good. it'll be hollow because you didn't put enough chocolate in it to, to make it solid. But they said to make it thick enough, this is a little mess. Yeah, this is a messy. Okay. I have a gap. Here. That's a good idea. Because otherwise it's going to pour all over the counter. Yeah, because they didn't use the cap, but we're going to use the cap. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. I'm hoping it works. This, this, it, we've never be, done this before. This it'll be funny because every time I see people do Pinterest and they'll show the Pinterest and then they go, nailed it, and it never looks the same. Never. <laughs> we're going to nail it. So we're going to see if this works. <laughs> by the way, Leo, if you're watching, don't watch. <laughs> Actually, he'll already have it by the end if you watch. Okay. Well, it's so, and I'm gonna cut the lid. Yeah, I, I, I did a number. I, I kind of made a mess, don't look. Does it look thick? Mine doesn't look very thick. Oh, I only have one spot that doesn't look I'm thick. I'm gonna add more. Okay, mine's pretty thick, I think. It's, it actually feels kind of heavy. But... I Okay. can see, <laughs> you're supposed to not be able to see any clear on the initial one. Okay, any... I had a little spot, but I think I got it. I so, have a couple of spots, so I think I need to add more. I think I have more chocolate than you. you. Oops. Yeah, it's like I forgot I didn't have the cap on. Because my bottom is really heavy. My bottom's heavy. No. It's bottom heavy. Okay, so from what I understand, you're supposed not like, to not like cap, me. I'm we're heavy. supposed to put it in the <laughs> fridge and we'll let it cool. But make sure the cap's off because we want it to be hollow. And then we have to do another layer on the inside just to make sure it's thick. Because according to what I've read, the, according to the fails, if you don't <laughs> make it thick enough, when you cut to get the chocolate out, because we're going to cut the bottom and we're at the bottom. But when you cut it out, if it's not thick enough, they said what happens is that, um, that it'll crack. That's probably what I have to do. You ready? Watch this. I told you I had a lie. I wasn't lying. Just taking off the bottom and twirling, twirling around. Now, this is going to harden while we have this in the fridge. So we're going to have to temper so, it again. Exactly. And that's exa I learned that from one of those candy places. I've never heard of tempering before, so I learned, learned something new today. I have a lot of chocolate in mine. Let's, look, can I make a mess? Can't 
Okay, now we just need to put them in the fridge. Hold on. Oh, there's chocolate stuff in my hand. And we have chocolate bot bottles. We have chocolate all over. Uh, all over you your can tell it's wine. Get in here. Not good. Well, I would have been a well. You started yours before. We have a lid twirling. I. Okay. So. Um, so now we've got to put the refrigerator for how long? Time. I don't mind doing the outside, but I don't want to do the outside. No. Fine. Okay. For how long do we put it in the fridge? They said for like an hour or two until okay. it's hard. And so, then we add. We're gonna do another layer. So let's go put it in the fridge. Okay. Okay. And we'll see you later. We don't know which one's mine and which one's hers. Mine's the messy lid. It's got the, can you see? It's got the glue all over it. It's like goo. And hers looks all nice and pretty. So I got a feeling we're going to have Pinterest fail and Pinterest good. Hi, guys. Hi. As you can tell, it's a later. <laughs> and we have bottles here. And they're supposed to be looking like Coca-Cola after we took them off, taking off the plastic. Um, I'm worried. This one's cracked. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, and that one's look, look, look. I know you guys can't hear this, but you literally, if you could tell, see how it's one color because it's sitting out from the refrigerator. It's literally separating by itself. You can see it on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's weird. See how it's like chocolate and different color? Yeah. So you're supposed to, according to what I watched, okay. we're supposed to make a slit straight down. Okay. Okay. From the doohickey here, straight down, and then the doohickey. <laughs> you make a straight line all the way down, and then it said to cut off like this way. Okay. And then same way here to where we can lift it apart and slide it out that's the way it showed it's okay. dangerous i can't hear you okay so and when I'm they just use a the utility knife like that now be careful you've got a lot of blades sticking out you went a little crazy over there okay so we just be careful because you're moving it towards you. I'm going to move it away from it. But that doesn't even. It's not oh. very sharp. Let's break it. Well, then break the lip. Break oh, I'm cracking the chocolate. <gasps> Don't do that. I pushed too hard. It's not sharp enough. Look, that's easy. Sharp enough. That's a brand new blade. 
Look, you are. Well, I can already go through. I have a hole. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go ahead and go through because mine's already got a hole. No, and I'll stop there. Because maybe I can save it. This is on. Nope, can't save it. We're losing it. We're, we need CPR. Hurry. <laughs> Hurry. My Coke bottle's not going to make it. I think it's dying. I don't even think we can save it. I'm continuing on. Yeah, this knife is not real good. And this knife's sharp. This knife is like trying to kill me. It's like possessed. It has cut more fingers than I'd like to think. Or even say. But, yep. Um, okay, let's, let's try it one more time. So I sliced right through the chocolate. I don't even think I did. I don't think I ever want to do this again. <laughs> well, it looked really easy on, t on uh, the yeah. edges. Here down. The whole <laughs> bottom. The whole bottom is solid. From about right there. See where that where it stopped breaking? That's where it becomes solid chocolate. See, it's pretty thin though. See, it's pretty thin. We didn't do it thick enough then. No. So guys, um I'm not going any further because well it seems kind of silly. Uh you know, I learned something. Pinterest is only to look at, it's <laughs> not to do. I'm, well, I've never made anything like this from Pinterest, but. I made that brown butter uh, bread. That was good. That was from Pinterest. That was really good. And I, and I made those biscuits one time from those this. Those were really good. But they didn't look like, as pretty as they did on um But anyway, um, I've come to the conclusion that um, Liam's just going to get a chocolate rabbit. <laughs> and that's what I think we should end it at. <laughs> so, so, guys, as I said before, we appreciate that you put up with this horrible video. <laughs> and I want to cry because I really want to make them work. This is a really cool idea. Yeah, well, it looks really easy. So, in the meantime, if you can hit sub subscribe, we'd appreciate it. If you can hit like, we'd highly appreciate it because I'd be shocked. If you don't like it, then press thumbs down. Don't press the thumbs and up. You know and what? If you try that, it at home, maybe it will work for you. Okay. <laughs> hey, if you do, send us the nail it. Go like this. Nail it. <laughs> that should be our thumbnail. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to dislike if you don't like it. Make a comment and tell us how great a job we did. Or not. I guess I'm not going to quit my day job. Because uh, we're, we're going to sign off now. Say with me. Peace out. <laughs>